everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. It is release day for 2020 Top Stadium Club. Today we're going to go through two hobby boxes and see what we can find. There are two autograph cards per box. These cards are absolutely beautiful looking, as you know. That's kind of like the MO of Stadium Club. So we're going to check out the design, look at all the photos, and see if we can pull any nice inserts or really valuable autographs. So let's show you a look at the box first before we get started. We're doing two of these boxes. You can see Vladdy Jr. gets the cover spot right there. Really cool picture of him uh, kind of turning on an inside fastball. Uh, we'll see what the base Vladdy card looks like momentarily once we find it. But there's 16 cards, or rather 16 packs per box, eight cards per pack. Special insert packs could only have six cards, as you may know. Here's all the bottom stuff uh, with the no purchase necessary. Is that on there? Yes, people always ask to see that, to send in some um, postcards and maybe get a free card or two. But anyway, here we go. There's some cool stuff in here. There's going to be an oversized box topper in here. By the way, this first box is for Steve. Best of luck to you, Steve. We will be doing... Two separate live streams of Stadium Club. We're doing one tonight. That's Wednesday night. Probably a little after 8 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do three full cases. Now, there are 16 boxes per case. So, it'll be a, a nice, probably not too long, maybe three hours. And then the rest of them, I've got about four more cases to do on Sunday. So, if you love Stadium Club, make sure you check us out. Tonight, Wednesday, and also Sunday coming up. There's the oversized box loader. I can already tell you who it is. It's Ronald Acuna Jr. You can see it through the packaging. We'll take a look at that. Those actually can be autographed in limited instances. So we'll see if Steve is lucky enough to have his box loader signed. Also, there's some box hits this year. Each box has one base chrome parallel and one in the wings insert as well. Some really nice young players in that in the wings insert set. You'll be seeing some other insert sets like Emperors of the Zone and uh, I think Bash and Burn is another one. But here's our first look at the design. You can see there's a Brendan Rodgers leading things off. It's all about the photography for 2020 Stadium Club. There's Sean Doolittle getting out of the bullpen cart. Some pitchers were too proud to ride in on that cart, but others uh, would just do it anyway. There's Ozzy Albies look, looking like Superman flying through the air. Jorge Soler. There's a nice Seth Brown rookie card, and we have Power Zone. Reese Hoskins upside down. It is an insert card. Power Zone, Hoskins, Dale Murphy. You're going to see some players such as Dale Murphy, Tony Gwynn, Ty Cobb, older players popping up in this 300 card checklist and there's nico horner now the back of the cards in case you're wondering look like this you got the card number there's 300 cards in the set and it looks like those numbers will be um at least the panels in the back will always match with the team colors gives you a little bit of info about the player and then um their most recent year of performance so pretty cool looking cards so far you have to let me know what you think in the comments by the time we're done with all of these. There's Albert Alzole, rookie card leading things off. Dallas Keuchel from the White Sox. White Sox, I, I don't even want to call them a surprise team. I was picking the Reds and White Sox as my quote-unquote surprise teams with the White Sox doing their thing. And how about this one? We have our first autograph. James Karinczak, who's an absolute beast, striking out everybody in the world, it seems like. Um what do you have, like 30 innings pitch and like 74 strikeouts last year or something like that? It's numbered out of 52. Nice low number. There you see the 74 Ks and only 30 innings. This guy has future closer written all over him, and he's doing it again in the big leagues this year. So that's a nice one. There's a J.D. Martinez. That is a red parallel. You see the red name down there. And it looks like Stadium Club's doing us a favor by flipping over any inserts or cards that, you know, should be sleeved up the parallels that's kind of nice it'll make them really easy to see without glossing over here's our next pack we got a salvi Perez, marcus Semyon. oh look at this picture ken griffey jr that is an awesome photo look how high up he's getting to rob that home run awesome looking card gotta look at the back for the kid major league batting record there Awesome card, Logan Allen. Mookie Betts, looking like uh, he's uh, ready to go out after a win. And there's Keston here, upside down card. It's an in the wings insert card. Looks like all the insert cards will be upside down. James Marvel rookie card, Hunter Dozier. This pack will complete our first stack. 
We got a Tommy Edmund. That's a great picture right there. Back before cardboard cutouts and there's actual people in the stands. How about a Babe Ruth? That's an awesome picture right there. They really actually did a nice job picking out these old photos. Chipper Jones kind of goofing off in the dugout right there. Here comes an insert card. It's going to be a Brandon Woodruff, and that is going to be a red uh, parallel right there. Those aren't numbered, but they're still pretty cool. Yasiel Puig in his Indians uniform, and Frankie Lindor, his teammate last year on the Indians. That's shaping up to be a nice bat on the AL Central with the Indians, White Sox, and Twins all fighting it out. Any one of them could take it. Well, one of those teams is I don't know. Actually, all three of those teams might end up making the playoffs. But as you know, the top two are automatically in. There's a nice Josh Donaldson. We have a JV Justin Verlander. Is that our Chrome insert? Yes, it is. One per box. It's a nice one for Steve. A Justin Verlander Chrome Stadium Club. So like I said before, you get one per box. There's the Emperors of the Zone, Patrick Corbin. That's another insert set. Isan Diaz will be back. He opted out of the season after about a week. And uh, he has just been reinstated. So you'll be seeing Isan Diaz back with the Marlins gearing up for their playoff run. Never thought I'd say that this year. Marlins and playoffs in the same sentence, but it looks like it may happen. There's David Wright. Anthony Rizzo. Nice picture there at Wrigley Field. Then we have Willie Castro and we have Marcel Ozuna. It's upside down because it is a red Parallel, Frank Thomas stretching out before going up to the plate. And Jose Urquidy is the last one there. So no big-time rookie cards yet. By big-time, I would say Kyle Lewis and Jordan Alvarez are the top two. Or, sorry, Luis Robert and Kyle Lewis are the top two. There's Garrett Cole. Kind of got beat up the last couple starts, but he'll be back. Jordan Alvarez probably number three on that chart, even though he's hurt. Bryce Harper, bash and burn. This is a double-sided card. Check out the other side where he's bashing. He's bashing there. He's burning there. And then we have Javi Baez and Xander Bogarts. Nice picture right there. I believe that is over in Europe last year against the Yankees. Here we go, Steve. What can we find in our next pack for you? There's still one more autograph in your box. There's D.D. Gregorius. Still not quite used to seeing him in a Phillies uni. Abraham Toro, Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer, Ryan right there. Ronald Acuna Jr. How cool would that be if that's autographed? It's not. It's just an in-the-wings insert card, but still a pretty nice one. James Karinchak, rookie card, and Michael Chavis. Looks like he's turning two. Nice-looking card right there. So half the box is down for Steve. Let's see what we've got coming up next. Austin Hayes. There's Shohei Otani going the other way off Yusei Kikuchi. That's a great picture. Alex Young. Sheldon Noisy, rookie card. Insert coming up after Johnny Bench taking some BP. It's Willie Calhoun. And that one's going to be a red parallel. Lord Ace Grail Jr. with the crazy hair. And Nomar Mazzara is the last one. And uh, I guess that would be pack number 9 or 10. About halfway through. A little over halfway through the first box. Um, we'll be doing two boxes here. So you get a... Hopefully we can see all of the good rookie cards. I really want to find a Luis Robert. There's Jordan Alvarez. That's a cool card. Probably... Um, taken during the playoffs coming out of the dugout to go line up along the first baseline last year christian yelich that's it power zone and there he is luis robert rookie card was looking for this one he is the hottest player around what's he got now 10 home runs already i think our league leader only has 13 wouldn't that be something if Luis Robert ended up leading the league in home runs. I hope that I really, really hope that's a great looking Ty Cobb card. <laughs> Driving like a 1909 car there. I really hope the White Sox make the playoffs. Just imagine if Robert gets in there and um, has a huge playoff run with them. Cal Ripken Jr. That must be from that iconic night. Yep, you see it on the warehouse right there. Breaking Lou Gehrig's all time, um, once thought to be unbreakable consecutive game streak. On, what was that, September 6th, 95. And this is a nice one for you, Steve. Jesus Lusardo autograph. Very nice. So you got Karen Chak and Lusardo. And that one is not numbered, but that's a great looking card. Lusardo is going to be a stud for many years. Jonathan Villar just got traded. He's now on the Blue Jays um, with the uh, Isan Diaz coming back. That's a nice looking Pujols. And Stalin Marte being acquired. VR who had a great year last year for the Orioles was expendable. How about those Blue Jays making the Yankees a little nervous right now? Mike Trout, of course, Blue Jays could possibly 
take over the uh, second place spot from the, the Yankees. They've been gaining on them. the Yankees. Old, I think only won three out of the last 10 games, at least as of like a day or two ago when I was looking at their uh, stats. There's a nice Miguel Sano. We can see it's the black nameplate parallel. There's Tony Gwynn, one of the all-time greats, and Hyunjin Ryu. So we got our two autographs for Steve. Now we're just going to see what else we can find. We already got our chrome parallel. We got our in the wings insert already. So now it's just bonus time Shogo Akiyama rookie card. We always go a little slower in the preview video so you can see everything. The uh, case breaks for we go a little faster, mostly focus on finding the hits. There's Jake Rogers' rookie card, and that is a chrome insert as well. Nice one. So you got two, Steve. That'll do. Got a nice JV Justin Verlander, and now you got a Jake Rogers. Two chromes. We'll see if Patrick can match you for that. We're doing two of these boxes. Matt Chapman leading things off. There's Clayton Kershaw about to go into his wind-up, raising his arms up above his head. Adrian Morihone is a nice rookie right there. Austin Riley. We've got a Yastrzemski coming up after Dylan Cease is getting doused with Gatorade. Dylan Cease, another nice rookie from this year's class. There's Yaz, and it is a first-day issue card. Check that out in the corner. Very, very nice. So um, that's appropriate for today since it is the first day that this uh, release came out. I literally just picked it up at the UPS store about an hour ago and now making our brand new release preview video for you. A nice AJ Puck rookie card. There's a Justin Verlander Emperor of the Zone insert card. There it is. Not the, I don't know, these cards, design of these, I'm not too crazy about. There's Brian Reynolds and Felix Hernandez. So Steve, here's the last pack, then we'll do our second box and see what we can find for Patrick. Trevor Bauer at the dish, and his teammate Joey Votto in the throwback. There's a nice one, Gavin Lux rookie card. Looks like he's going out there at some point during the playoffs to be introduced. Um, looks probably like uh, NLCS in, Wa uh, in Washington, D.C., Nats Park. Robbie Ray, Manny Machado. Of course, Ray has been traded. And Will Clark. All <laughs> This is probably taken for like a 92 studio card. And this is just the full card that we're seeing right there. Nice looking card right there. So, Steve, thank you very much. Next up, our second box. We're going to do Patrick's box and see what we can find. But before I do that, I almost missed your oversized box loader. This big old thing here, these are replicas of the regular cards. And they can be signed on rare occasions. But there you see, that's a nice looking card. In case you're wondering how that compares to the base cards, that is... <laughs> It's uh, quite large compared to the regular cards. Awesome. If you have like a 5x7 frame, that is definitely frame worthy for sure. So Steve, we'll get that sent out to you. Let me go ahead and put that with your stack. And now Patrick, you are officially up. Best of luck. Let's see who we can find for Patrick in terms of autographs. We've already seen some of the card designs. We'll probably get a little faster of those. Mostly looking for, I'm trying to think which rookies we haven't seen yet. I mean, Aristides Aquino's one, but he's, his stock has fallen pretty greatly. Kyle Lewis is probably the best one that we have not yet seen. We'll keep an eye out for Kyle Lewis. There's your oversized box loader. Let's get your packs on out of here and see what we can find. And uh, I guess since there's so few packs, only 16 packs... We'll just do four at a time, just do four packs at a time so we can move along, find Kyle Lewis, find your autographs, and then let you get off to whatever you were doing before stopping to watch this video. Hopefully you're enjoying the video, and hopefully you can hang out with us tonight in our live stream of this product again after a little bit after 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, so here we go. There's a Raphael Devers pointing up at the sky. Andrew Benatendi shut down for the year with like a 103 batting average, unfortunately. There's a bash and burn. It's a nice one. Bo Bichette can definitely bash with that 361 batting average before that knee injury. And he's a speedy guy, too. Daryl Strawberry, shirtless. Don't know why. Maybe that was an alternate picture for like the 91 scorecards where they were having players take their shirts off for whatever reason. Yu Chang making a play there. Chris Sale, and here comes an insert card. Maybe maybe it's an autograph. It's a Javi Baez out of 99, and that is our Chrome. Very nice one right there. Baez not having the greatest year so far. His average is kind of hovering around 200, but he still is quite a force. we got a Kyle Tucker in the wing, so there's one of those per box, supposedly, so that will take care of your one per box um, in the wings, but maybe you'll get another one. Here's... 
Here's a guy that if you haven't got his rookie card yet, you might want to do it. Shane Bieber celebrating his All-Star Game MVP trophy right there. 2018 Tops update. He could win the Cy Young and possibly even the MVP this year. A absolutely sparkling earned run average of like 130-something, and he's undefeated. Yeah, he's just uh, absolutely killing it this year. There's Power Zone, Aaron Judge, Ramon Laureano making a diving catch, and Honus Wagner. Where the heck is he playing at? Looks like he's maybe playing at Central Park or something. Um, also looks like maybe this was in his advanced years, near the end of his career. There's Hank Aaron, Hammer and Hank. That's a great-looking card right there. Michael Baez. Rapid Robert, Bob Feller. That's a nice one. He was an American hero going off to fight in World War II, giving up a few years of his career. And we have, how about this? We've got a redemption for your hit. Let's check out who that is right now. Patrick, I hope it's a big name. Sometimes these redemptions can be quite good. You have a base card autograph, Patrick, of Kyle Hendricks from the Chicago Cubs. Not the biggest name. I was hoping for like a Bo Bichette or Luis Robert or something like that for you. But Kyle Hendricks, definitely a solid pitcher. Not sure why he was unavailable to sign this offseason. Probably had something going on. Sometimes players get married and travel during the offseason. But when they can't track a player down to sign the cards that are slated in the checklist, they just have them do it later and issue redemption cards for the time being. There's Garrett Cole. Probably already seen a couple of these because that's our second time seeing Cole. Luis Castillo is going to be an absolute ace. Trey Turner is having an absolutely fabulous year this year. Might end up winning the batting title. Dan Vogelback can't find a home anywhere. Was uh, designated for assignment by Seattle. Picked up by the Blue Jays. And a couple days later, the Blue Jays said, see you later too. And that's a nice picture of Travis Demerit. There's Nomar making a diving play there. Emperors of the Zone, Zach Granke and Jacob DeGrom. Back-to-back insert cards here this one's sticking a little bit i don't know this is probably the worst looking card of the set for me not the Degrom himself but the design not a big fan of those there's the iron horse lou gehrig picking out a bat there i guess that was before they had bat racks maybe they didn't have bat racks back in the 20s and that's what they did that's pretty cool some of these cards we've seen already not that jason baratek doesn't have to do much work to frame the strike there that one looks almost center cut there's gary sanchez and the freak, Tim Lincecum, showing off one of his three World Series trophies. I think that might be the 2012 logo in the background. I can't really tell. It's a little out of focus. There's Charlie Morton, one of my favorites. David Wright, Mike Brousseau, Altuve, Jesus Lusarda, rookie card, Matt Chapman coming up. It's upside down because it's a, I guess, a black parallel version right there. There also can be some photo variations. Haven't really caught on to those yet because I've only opened two boxes, but I'm sure by the time we open a few cases, we'll know which ones are photo variants. There's a nice Stan the Man Musial black nameplate variant, and here we go. Next stack for Pat. Let's do these four packs, and there's another autograph out there. We'll see what we can find. If you'd like to participate in our case break, make sure you check us out on our Patreon page. It's linked in the description. It's $3 a month to sign up there. It gets you access to the case breaks if you'd like to participate in those by signing up for them. And also gets you access to exclusive content, like uh, videos like our Toss Back Tuesday series, which we only show on Patreon. Uh, we did a Billy Ripken, what's called Error Card Search of 89 Fleer this past week. Just uploaded that video yesterday. And you also have a, a, uh, access to the back videos as well. You can scroll back through all the posts and find them. Watch them. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. Aristides Aquino, back in better days when he was just killing everything back in august of last year he's gotten a, a few plate appearances this year but um nothing compared to last year there's another guy that's really fallen off compared to last year p alonso is struggling to hit his weight i think he's only got about six home runs after slugging 53 last year might be an issue of him just pressing too hard trying to replicate that rookie success but a lot of players do fall into those sophomore slumps and Alonzo right now is definitely mired in one. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. Power Zone card. This, these always kind of stick just a little bit. Kind of reminiscent of those old 90s Stadium Club cards that would stick so often to each other. Hey, there's Kyle Lewis, rookie card. We're looking for that one. There he is celebrating. His batting average has been hovering somewhere around 340 to 360 all season long. Al Kaline, nice looking card right there. It almost looks like there's a little cloud of smoke from where he just crush the ball and your second hit is sam hilliard rookie autograph let's see if it's numbered 
Uh, it is not number. It almost feels like a vintage stock card. I don't know if you can tell the glossiness on there, but it's not as glossy as the Griffey. Nice card for you, Sam Hilliard. We got Ken Griffey Jr. Red Parallel making a catch, and now it's on to your final stack, Pat, and we'll check out that oversized box loader and see what we can find in there. Four packs left. Let's see if we can find you Luis Robert to go along with your Kyle Lewis. And your Aristides Aquino, maybe a Jordan Alvarez. I don't think you've pulled one of him yet. All right, here we go. So leading off, we've got Joey Votto. We've already seen that card. There's Gavin Locks. Seen that one already as well. Ichiro, and what the heck kind of uniform is that? <laughs> I think that's a workout outfit, or maybe it's a uh, future outfit, Back to the Future, where they're like using uniforms from the year like 20, um, I don't know, like 20... 80 or whatever. There's a Anthony Rizzo Chrome card. So you got a couple Chromes, which is nice. There's a nice Tatis Jr. He's a favorite for the MVP award. Like this card a lot. Mike Soroka pitching out there in San Francisco. Really unfortunate that he had to go down for the year. He's definitely going to be a major factor in that Braves rotation for the next few years. Yachty Molina. Like that one. That's a great looking picture right there in the shadows. And the shadows in the background. Show you Tawny once more. Alex Young rookie card. Christian Walker. We've got a an upside down Emperors of the Zone. Chris Paddock making his mark this year with the Padres. Padres really looking good this year. Like this card, Paul Goldschmidt with the Gateway Arch in the background. You can actually go up to the top of that and uh, look out over St. Louis. It's really really awesome. I would suggest you do so. There's also a nice museum underneath that arch. Victor Robles. We got Austin Meadows, one of my favorites. This is Red Parallel, Gary Sanchez. And last card of the video is going to be Dansby Swanson slotting in there to third base. Before we go, I would just ask you to please hit that subscribe button and also the thumbs up button for me. I very much appreciate it. Let me know what you think of Stadium Club from 2020. And now let's check out the oversized box loader on our way out the door. It is a nice looking Jacob DeGrom there at city field very very nice looking card so patrick congrats on your autos steve and patrick thank you very much for sponsoring this video and letting me open your boxes in the preview video i hope you guys enjoyed it check us out on patreon also check us out on the live stream tonight a little after 8 p.m eastern time i hope you have a great rest of your wednesday and i'll see you all later good night everybody